Okay, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> um, as we begin our budget process, and actually believe it or not, we have already begun our budget process for the fiscal year 17-18 school year, um, which is hard to believe that we're almost getting ready for 18 mm -hmm. school year. But at any rate, um, <coughs> basically, I'm just going to kind of go through a timeline with you. Um, what I want to emphasize is some opportunities for um, the public to get public input into our budget process. I think that's something that um, we have lacked in years. We've gone out, we've tried, we've you know done town hall meetings, we've um, certainly put it on the website, asked for comments and whatnot, but we don't seem to really get a whole lot of response to our budget. So um, we're going to put up some opportunities for public input, hopefully get some more input this year. Um, in October, which we just finished, um, the schools begin preparing their budget requests. I send out to them their uh, allocations for their media and materials of instruction um, based on whatever our September 30th enrollment is at that time. We do a projection <coughs> based on historical data basically as to what we expect their um, enrollment to be the, the following year and we give them an allocation based on that. Um, they work with their school trying to determine whether that allocation is going to be adequate to service their needs or if they're going to need to ask for more money and they begin pulling together their budget. Uh, as part of that process we ask them to look at their class sizes. Um, this is particularly at the elementary and middle school levels. Um, it's, it's a little easier a task taking the total enrollment in a particular grade level and dividing it by the number of teachers that you have, you can come up with a pretty accurate class size. When you get to the high school level, it's a little trickier. You've got some of those specialty classes, um, some of the higher level classes that um, drive down some of those class sizes. We ask them to look at their projected personnel needs and then any other requests that they might have, um, capital items, that they would like to bring into us. Yes, ma'am. Just remind me the um, enrollment from this year. What did it end up after September? At September 30th. Uh, in relation. To as of yesterday, <laughs> it was uh, 7751 was the actual student count, um, and then it was. I think that we had 21, 20. 0.75 students more as far as the enrollment that will be used for enrollment. aid, for the state aid, and for the um, maintenance of effort. 21 more than? 20, yeah, okay. just about 21 Good. more. At least it's more. Thank you. Okay. Then we move into November. Um, here is an opportunity for public input. We have three town hall meetings scheduled this, this month. November 7th, or November 9th, excuse me, next week is at Stevensville beginning at 7 p.m., November 16th at Centerville Middle School beginning at 7 p.m., and then the 30th will be at Sellersville Middle School. Um, we're also in the process of developing a survey for public input, or something that we can post to our website, have people sign on and give us input into um, you know what they like what they don't like about the school system so that'll that will be something new that we're going to try this year and that's still in the development stage so um, principals will submit their requests the Friday before Thanksgiving um, supervisors and of both the CNI group and the support group um, will be looking at submitting their requests generally by the end of November sometimes that goes into December uh, we try to get the schools in and review those before we start looking at the central office too much. Then we move on to December. Um, at this point the executive team starts reviewing those documents and generally by the time it's all said and done we have two um, notebooks that are about this thick that we have to go through, um, a budget for each school. Um, we set up meetings with each of the principals. They come in and sit down, they present their budget, they explain it, defend the <coughs> SR. Uh, they have to give us documentation as to why they're making the request and how that uh, aligns with their school improvement plan. And then we begin looking at determining what the priorities are for the system. I think last year when it was all said and done, when principals were finished, they had come in and requested 
50 additional positions obviously that was not something that we were going to be able to fund so we have to start making the determination um, what's going to be funded what's not going to be funded so that's all starts in December in January we hold budget work sessions with the board um, we have two scheduled this year January 18th and January 25th and we'll go through we give you trend data um, we'll give you you know calculations what anticipated the cost you know the cost of a step the cost of a one percent raise all of those things will give you all that information so we can start driving our budget um, we will at that point also receive our preliminary calculations from the state as to how much money we're going to get from them and the executive team continues the process of determining those priorities in February we will present the superintendent will present his recommended budget um, that will be put on the website it will be open for public comment throughout the entire month um, and the last couple years we have scheduled additional work sessions during the month of February to review what the superintendent had recommended and what we want to what the board wants to ultimately have in the budget March we finalize our proposed budget to be submitted to the county we go ahead and submit that to the county and then we begin seeking community support for the budget and that's when we're going out and meeting with different organizations PTAs community organizations and whatnot and trying to get them um, on board with what we're requesting to get some support in April we continue to see seek that community report um, support um, generally we receive updated state aid calculations and generally by this time the state aid calculations are pretty close to what we're going to ultimately get um, this year the county commissioners will be holding their public hearings on their proposed budget on April 24th 25th and 26th so that would be another opportunity for public input for um, the community to go and speak at those in support of our budget and then in May generally the county commissioners will finalize their budget we will know what our final allocations from the county will be we will get our final calculations from the state we'll know exactly what our revenues look like and then the fun begins <laughs> because then in June we get to go back and revise um, or modify our budget request to match the revenues because we have to have a balanced budget um, by the end of June we have to have that budget approved and then in July the new budget takes effect so that's just kind of the process that we go through um, again conclusion our town hall meetings are starting next week we encourage the public to come out bring us ideas give us some information give us some input as to what they would like to see in our budget questions anybody have any questions Thank you, Ms. Langra. Mm -hmm.